Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Had to take a little break um, during the Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, I mean, I just had a very delicious uh, Thanksgiving dinner on that particular day, and I did continue to have some turkey with potato salad, some salad too to go with it, um, and, <laughs> and it goes well with uh, pumpkin pie at the end for dessert. Yeah, it was great. But I did went uh, Black Friday shopping. I'm mean, having to go to stores like uh, Dollar Tree as well as uh, Target, Best Buy, and even Walmart. You know, we had to get some clothes, other stuff for the family. I even went to JCPenney too. But I did bought some movies at several of those stores. And I'm going to show you inside this Target bag right there. Um, and well, <laughs> there's going to be a big one here. So um, when I went to uh, Best Buy, I picked up Jingle All the Way. The Arnold Schwarzenegger Christmas comedy, where he plays a uh, a businessman at a uh, mattress seller to plan the entire Christmas Eve to pick up a Turbo Man action figure for his son. After you know he's been neglecting all these promises for his son and his wife. And it's joined in by uh, Jake Lloyd, who plays his son. Yeah, not the biggest fan of the actor, and I know this was one of his, uh, not his first movie, but I think it's just one of his uh, earlier movies before he got the chance to play Anakin Skywalker in Episode One: The Phantom Menace in Star Wars. Um. But I know I I do feel bad for the actor because you know he's going through a lot of problems in his life. But hey, what can you do? But it, it was a guilty pleasure. I mean, he had a great cast to join in. Like you got Phil Hartman, God vs. So, funny comedian. Rita Wilson plays uh, his wife. Um, you also got Sinbad, which is on the back. <laughs> Yeah, who plays the Merrill Carrier, trying to go after the Turbo Man action figure. Um, and you got some other actors to join in, like Jim Belushi, um, as well as um, Danny Woodburn, Burn Troyer, yeah, Mini Me himself, God rest his soul, Goldberg, and, and even the, in the director's cuts, because there's two cuts included on this Blu-ray, it had um, Yarley Smith from The Simpsons and Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, that was her. Um, but again, it's a guilty pleasure, and I enjoyed it. I mean, it's not a masterpiece when it comes to Christmas holiday films, but it's worth it. Especially if you watch both cuts and some nice features to go with it at the back. Uh, anyway... Next up is uh, American Made, the Tom Cruise film, which I did a review on a long time ago. And this was the best film that he ever done in recent years. And I wish he had been nominated for an Oscar. And I wish he had won. But sadly, didn't get a chance. But it's a great film. It's, it's based on a true story or... At this rate, true lie, <laughs> as it says on the the front cover. Uh, and this one I got at Dollar Tree, uh, which I also had some more um, movies and other stuff that I picked up at the other Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe uh, maybe I might show you that later. But I got the, the movie Nightcrawler, an excellent film with Jake Gyllenhaal. Where he's, um, it's a thriller where he's um, 
He's a cameraman who's just about to go on the streets of Los Angeles where where it has like a lot of crying going around, like fires, uh, car crashes, um, other other murders happening, mayhem that was going around. So this is like something you never thought you'd see. And this is the movie I would definitely watch. Um, and it does have uh, Rene Russo and the late great Bill Paxton. So, if you haven't seen Nightcrawler, check it out. And hopefully, uh, if you find us at all Dollar Trees out there that might carry this, you might be lucky. I know Dollar Tree's been selling some more movies, but sometimes they've been selling leftovers. But I hope I can keep an eye on, on all these titles, and I still want to continue finding some more. Because I, I found out they have like other titles I never thought it would find. But let's just hope that, pray to God, they do have them. Okay, I know. Um, now I'm just going to continue with more finds here. Uh, I got the movie Hellfest. Yes, um, this is a horror film. That said, at an amusement park, I did a review on that, and I always thought this was um, an awesome movie, in my opinion. I mean, I know there are people who don't care about it much, but I think this is a, an overlooked gem. Um, have some great scares, um, a lot of chilling scenes here and there, but all in all, I thought it worked, in my opinion. So I'm glad I picked this up. Uh, next, it's a uh, uh, stupid chair. Next is uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, uh, which is Wreck-It Ralph 2. And a sequel to Wreck-It Ralph, which I really enjoy. And it's nice to have this on Blu-ray. As you can see, it has features included. And yeah, as you see, all the rest of the, <laughs> the princesses uh, from Disney and all that. Yeah, it's where uh, Ralph uh, joined in with uh, Benelope, you know, trying to explore the internet and get into bigger trouble or or whatever, <laughs> you know, get to have all the fun that they never thought they experienced. It was fun. Fun sequel. Uh, Paul. <laughs> yes, with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Both of which were in the movies uh, Shaun of the Dead, along with Hot Fuzz and The World's End, not to mention the TV series Space. And this is a film that's not directed by Edgar Wright. Instead, it's directed by Greg Matola, the same man who gave us Superbad, along with Adventureland. And it's a pretty uh, peculiar but funny comedy. Where you have uh, Seth Rogen uh, doing the voice of the alien, and they're just, uh, <laughs> you know, just you know, exploring the the UFO that was happening, and, and you got like a big cast joining in, like you have Bill Hader, Jane Lynch, uh, Sigourney Weaver, Christian Wiig, uh, even uh, Jason Bateman joining in. So it's very fun. Hilarious. Definitely worth for the collection of uh, the Simon Pig and Nick Frost films. I mean, if only if I could find Attack the Block, that would be nice. Maybe uh, one Frat Boy Run. Okay. Uh, Alright, I know this is going to be a big one. But, I did finally got the last two. John Wick films. After I got the first movie last year, uh, during my last Black Friday at Walmart. So this completes the set. But I know there's going to be another one coming up pretty soon, so that way I'll probably end up getting that. But it's nice to have um, all three of them together, but I'm holding the last two sequels. <laughs> and yes, uh, they're both excellent. No doubt about it. I mean, non-stop action. Great story, just follows the journey of 
of a hitman, uh, John Wick. I mean, but you get what you need for action lovers out there. And it has all the features, so, so they went to watch them all. Uh, Tombstone on Blu-ray. This is the theatrical cut. I, I know there was a director's cut that was released from the Vista series, and unfortunately, they did port a few extras from that set. Um, hey. What can you do? I know Kurt Russell um, basically directed the film, even though George P. Scamatos had did maybe most of it. I mean, from what I heard. So he basically owns the rights to it. Like, I don't know if I'll ever get to see his cut, but if that ever happens, that'd be really cool. He'll probably put it on Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD. Seeing that he works with Disney sometimes. I mean, when it comes to his movies, you know, sometimes he works with other studios and stuff. Uh, but anyway, it's it, it's a fun, it's a great western uh, filled with a all-star cast joining in. Um, to me, this is actually the best film that I've ever seen. I mean, I know there was Wild Earp that followed with Kevin Costner and Dennis Quaid. I mean... But by comparison, this is better. I mean, it may have its issues, but that's okay. I just really enjoy it. I mean, you got not only Kurt Russell, but you got Belle Kilmer. You got Sam Elliott. Once again, Bill Paxton. Uh, Michael Rooker. Stephen Lane. Uh, Billy Zane. Sean Heston's in this too, even the um, Powers Booth, God rest his soul, Michael Bean, Anna Delaney, I mean, wow, what a cast. But anyway, it was definitely worth the price. I can't wait to watch it on Blu ray. And, uh, okay, this is going to be uh, sorry. digging right deeper. Yes, after all this time, I finally got the first two Home Alone films on Blu-ray. Yes, this is the um, the 4K restoration the print of Home Alone from 1990, as we all know. That has all the features from the previous uh, Family Fun Edition DVD that I have. So you get to see all of that. It has a digital code, of course. Movies everywhere. And I got this with a slipcover, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which I really enjoy. And I wish they had ported all the features, like, for example, the behind-the-scenes documentary that was only released on VHS. So, I know the way Fox has been treating the sequel, I don't understand. So it's like, because both of these films were very popular, too. You know, people remember the first two films more than the other sequels that follow. So, that's what I don't get. But hey, it's nice to have them. Okay, now we're going to get to other ones, too. Um, well, okay. <laughs> I'm going all over the place. I got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, did a review on it, but it's a great animated feature. You know what, more than great, it's incredibly excellent. <laughs> I mean, yeah, features all included as well. And I'm glad to hear that it won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, as it says on the top. And also... Spider-Man Far From Home. Yep. With uh, Tom Holland returning as Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, who's basically working with a crew or joining in while he's on vacation with his classmates. I mean, he's also working with um, 
the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is Nick Fury. Norris. Um, so this was supposed to take place after the events of Avengers Endgame, as you can see. And it does have features, including an all-new short film, Peter's To-Do List. <laughs> well, but it's nice. Uh, speaking of which, I actually got, uh, yes, I actually did bought uh, Avengers Endgame, along with uh, Captain Marvel. All for $7.99 at Best Buy. I couldn't believe I would find these titles for a lot cheaper, because usually these Marvel films that you often get in stores... They're very expensive. They often go up to like twenty dollars or even worse, thirty bucks, and it's kind of hard for all Marvel fans out there to collect. But unless they have to be a better sale out there, then that's your chance worth taking. Um, so yeah, sadly, I only have like some of of the Marvel films on Blu-ray and DVD and stuff. But I still need to continue to get some more. Hopefully. Yes, that's why it's so tough to have what we need. And of course, I got the Incredible Hulk from 2008. And this was, of course, part of the MCU after Iron Man. And quite essentially, this is the most underrated um, action pack uh, sequel ever done with Edward Norton playing Bruce Banner. You got Liv Tyler. Uh, William Hurt and Tim Roth as the villain but I love the look of the Hulk and it had a lot of humor some great action scenes and even some dramatic moments to me this was the best uh, Hulk film we ever got before Mark Ruffalo uh, took over as Bruce Banner and that's where we got the Hulk in the Avengers movies and for Wrecker Rock so yeah and also to note that it's uh, 4K Ultra HD, so <laughs> so keep that in mind. But I know I still haven't got a 4K Ultra HD player yet, and I still haven't got a 4K TV. But I, I know money's gone a bit tight. But I got it just for the Blu-ray, and it was a lot cheaper at Walmart, so I had to do whatever I can. I hate this chair. It keeps doing that too. I got Mission Impossible Fallout. I still haven't got Rogue Nation yet on Blu-ray and I still need to find a copy somewhere for a lot cheaper. And I'm having a hard time looking for it so I hope that someday I will pick it up because I want to complete this set. I have the first free on DVD with the fourth movie on Blu-ray. Um, I guess I don't mind, you know, upgrading the, the first three films someday, but always, yeah, whatever. Uh, but this was an awesome movie. In fact, I love all the Mission Impossible films together. And it just gets better and better within the series. And of course I did the review too. <laughs> so, Of course, the action is very spectacular. Got tons of great action scenes. I mean, Tom Cruise once again does his own stunts. Even though he got hurt while trying to jump on the rooftop in that particular scene. You got nice features included. It's a two disc set. Well, well actually, three disc set because it comes with a DVD and digital. So. But you get a lot for this. Okay. Uh, alright, what else? As an upgrade, I got Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971 film based on the book by Ron Dow. Um, I did a review a long time ago, before I bought the DVD. But it's nice to have this on Blu-ray as an upgrade, and better cover art, too. <laughs> um, 
But it's still enjoyable after all these years, and I still enjoy the movie, and I love it more than, than I did as a kid. Because I remember when I was a kid, I didn't care for it. You know, I, I had some problems with it. I mean, in the way this movie turned out to be, and the way they had to change everything from the book. But Gene Wilder's performance was um, the greatest. And it's just sad that he's no longer with us, but but he'll always be remembered. But also to me, it would be see no evil, hear no evil, and and Young Frankenstein, as well as the producers, come to mind when it comes to his work. But this could join in too. And he does have features, of course. So, got what you got. And I got the Lego Movie. To the second part. Yes, the sequel to the Lego movie. While not as good as the first movie, I still enjoy it. Um, I saw this in theaters and had a great time. So. It's nice features and all. This is going to be such a hard time. I got Sleepwalking. Um, it's a drama that stars Nick Stahl, Anna Sophia Robb, Charlize Theron, Woody Harrison, and Dennis Hopper. It's a very good movie. Um, incredibly underrated. Um, but if, if you ever find this, I mean, give it a look. And I got. Bounty Killer. Yeah, it's a movie that stars uh, Matthew Marsden from Lost, Party of Five, and even Speed Racer. It also features uh, Christian uh, Logan from Terminator 3 and Mortal Kombat. And, uh, yeah, it's basically the Road Warrior meets Kill Bill in a way. I've never seen this movie, but it's nice to pick it up anyway for a dollar. So, so I'll definitely check this out. I mean, it might be either good or bad, but whatever. It was worth it. And I also got uh, Cold in July. Um haven't seen this one either, but it's a suspenseful thriller that stars Michael C. Hall from Dexter, along with Sam Shepard, God Rest His Soul, Vanessa Shaw from Hocus Pocus, and uh, Don Johnson, yeah, from Miami Vice. So this might be an excellent thriller to watch. Oh, boy. And. Got some DVDs. Oh boy, a lot of DVDs. Okay, well, let's start right to it. Never thought I would find this, but I got the Family Road Trip triple feature, which actually includes North. Yes, several critics, including Roger Ebert, hated the film. But I don't care. I really enjoy the movie more than everyone else thought about it. The, the one with Elijah Wood you know, playing a kid named North who's trying to find the perfect parents around the world. I mean, it's a peculiar fantasy, but you kind of get the idea. It does have Jason Alexander and Julie Lewis Dreyfus from Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like... Uh, <laughs> George Costanza and Elaine Bennis, you know, playing their parents. I mean, that's just weird. But you also got um, Alan Arkin, uh, Kathy Bates, uh, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Reba McIntyre, you have the country singer, but she was also in the movie Tremors. Uh, you got John Lovitz, uh, John Ritter, God Rest His Soul. Scarlett Johansson's in this, too. I mean, this was uh, one of her first films, I believe. And, of course, you got um, uh, Bruce Willis, who's the uh, the narrator. 
and he's basically playing several characters including him wearing the a pink bunny suit at a local mall so he's like a janitor and stuff but he just comes through his journey every time he comes around <laughs> okay um and it does come with are we dare yet with ice cube not the biggest fan of this movie basically it's a home alone but on a road trip yeah, another Home Alone clone. It got a sequel too, which happens to be a remake. And not a very good one either. And then there's a film called The Last Day of Summer, which um, I never heard of it, but it turns out it's a Nickelodeon movie. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to check that out. But anyway, I, I only got this for North. That's all. Uh, as you can see in the back too. Um, I know North has a Blu-ray release, um, but it was only released as part of the Choice Collection from Sony, and it's a BDR, but I hope if it does get a Blu-ray, it'll probably be released by Mill Creek, because Mill Creek is doing a great job, you know, putting all these films on Blu-ray, so I, I guarantee if I ever find it, I'll probably pick it up, yeah, I, so I know, it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, okay, there's some more too. I know it's hard to keep up. I got uh, the Betty White uh, to this um, TV series um, DVD. It has shows like Life with Elizabeth and Date with the Angels. This was Betty White in her earlier prime. So, hard to believe. She actually did this long before she went on to do shows like the Mary Tyler Moore Show and the Golden Girls. Okay. I never thought I would find this one either, but I got the Band Dam 4 Action Pack uh, collection. So it has Hard Target from 1993, awesome movie, nevertheless. It has The Quest, which is basically a pale version of Bloodsport. I mean, Bloodsport is a better film, but I didn't mind The Quest. Street Fighter, yeah. <laughs> basically a poor video game adaptation but it eventually became a guilty pleasure so hey what can we lose and of course the awesome sudden death uh, which is die hard in an arena yeah, during a hockey game so four movies together and I got uh, my Three Sons, only uh, the first season, Volume 2. It would be nice to find Volume 1, so that way I could put this together. I know it's going to be pretty hard to find all these episodes and seasons of My Three Sons. I think they only released like a few on DVD, seeing that this is one of the most long-running series um, of the 60s. Um, but it's a great show. Um, I know it's on MeTV. And yes, this is the ones that had uh, William Frawley from I Love Lucy. That's known for playing Fred Mertz, but he plays uh, basically uh, Grandpa Bub. So you got Fred McMurray joining in with uh, his sons. <laughs> so it's a great show. Very classic. Uh, I got uh, I'm Still Here with Joaquin Phoenix and Casey Affleck. It's a, um, basically it's a um, documentary of sorts. Um, this was at the time when Joaquin Phoenix was like playing a different role. And if you saw the uh, Late Night with David Letterman's uh, interview, it's like, yes, this is the role that he was playing. Like, he was just playing a... A very strange guy, but nevertheless, he was promoting his um, his film. I'm still here, um, but I enjoyed this movie. It's uh, it was worth it, and only for a dollar. If you ever find it, you'll probably be lucky. Um, I know there's a Blu-ray, but I wish they had Blu-rays over there at Dollar Tree, because nowadays, you know, you never know what you're gonna find. Okay, some more 
Okay. I got the Turner Classic Movie Greatest Classic Films Collection for Sci-Fi of Soylent Green, H.G. Wells, The Time Machine, Forbidden Planet, and Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, which I have on Blu-ray. But I got this just for these three films alone, and it was worth it. And it's a very nice slip cover. So you get all these four films together. Never thought I would find that at Dollar Tree at most places. Kansas City, a Robert Ullman film. Um, not so. I think I might have seen this movie. I'm not so sure, but this sounds very interesting, and I had to pick this up because this would be something worth checking out. Transformers: Robot in Disguise. Two episodes. Yeah, two episodes, I believe. I love Transformers, so of course, I figured if I, if I ever find some more, I would pick it up. Uh, and I got Yu-Gi-Oh! I have another uh, DVD of Yu-Gi-Oh! I do watch the series on Kids WB when I was in high school at the time, so... It's it's nice to find some shows that you can't find anywhere else. Because uh, they also sell Digimon over there, too. <laughs> um, but I, I do enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, too. And, hey, I, I even enjoy Pokemon, as well. So those are just DVDs I picked up along the Blu-rays at stores. So that's a lot <laughs> that I had to bargain with. So... Gotta say, this Black Friday was, was a killer. Uh, but I still wish I could pick up some more these days. I know, I know. I buy a lot of movies all the time. I'm not getting much space in my room. But, you know me. You know, I'm a collector and I love to watch whatever I want to watch. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I just hope that maybe I'll continue finding some more that I still haven't picked up, like Toy Story 4, Mary Poppins Returns, uh, The Grinch. I, I wanted to pick those films up, even Go uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I mean, geez, I mean, there was a lot of great titles that sadly I wish the prices went down. Um, or I probably would have enough money to get them. And that was the problem, too. Because, uh, you know, I'm taking up a lot of uh, time and money. Uh, but anyway, but that's all I got. Um, I'll see what happens uh, later on. Maybe when I get those gift cards, uh, I'll probably take a chance to get them and I'll continue watching them all. Even if it kills me. <laughs> but um, still, it's awesome gifts. It was worth it. And I'm just happy. But I'm just going to be like wasting my time just doing some more reposting videos on BitChute. And, that's, and by the time, you know, this video is finished here, I mean, that's going to end up on that channel as well. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, that's my uh, Black Friday um, videos that I've showed you right there. You know, all Blu-rays and DVDs included from several stores like Dollar Tree, Best Buy, Target and Walmart. Wow, what a collection. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.